Hello, for this problem we have a kind of generic rectangle with a base or a width B and a height H. Uh, we are asked to find the rectangular moment of inertia uh, for the shape about the X and the Y axes uh, through the centroid, which is going to be kind of the center uh, of this piece right here. Um, so for this problem, I'm going to start with the X axis. So IXX, it's the moment of inertia or so the uh, area moment of inertia, or rectangular area moment of inertia about the x-axis. Um, that's going to be going um, from bottom up to top, so about this axis. Um, and so I go from the minimum y, which is negative h over 2, to the positive h over 2, so that's the uh, height here. Uh, I'm going to do be taking the integral of dA and that gets multiplied by y squared. Alright, so <clears throat> dA is going to be the width at any one point uh, as I'm going from bottom up to top. Alright, so Ixx is going to be equal to the integral from negative h over 2 to positive h over 2. Uh, and the width at any one point is simply equal to this b. So b and the rate of change of the area is b times the rate at which I'm moving up along the y-axis. So dy. So that's dA. That whole thing gets multiplied by y squared, um, and I need to take this integral. So that is going to be equal to the integral from negative h over 2 to positive h over 2. Kind of simplify this whole thing. It'd be b y squared dy. All right, so b is just going to be a constant. That's the width. Uh, but y is going to change. All right, so now I want to do ixx, and if I evaluate this integral, so now it's evaluated going from negative h over 2 to positive h over 2. Um, it's going to be uh, one third times b, which is a constant, times y cubed. All right, so now I need to evaluate this from the uh, lower limit of negative h over 2 to the uh, upper limit of h over 2. So Ixx is going to be equal to one-third base times h over 2 cubed minus 1 third base times negative h over 2 cubed. All right, so if I kind of simplify the fractions in here, I get yxx is going to be equal to this first one, simplifies into 1 24th b times h cubed. And the second one, I've got negative sign here and negative sign here. They kind of cancel each other out, so I end up with another 1 uh, 24th b times h cubed. Add those two pieces together, and I wind up with 1 12th b h cubed. So that is where the general rectangular area moment of inertia of a rectangle about the x-axis comes from. This is something we can check uh, in our um, moment of inertia tables. All right, so I can do the same thing for the IYY. This is the rectangular area moment of inertia about the y-axis uh, in our scenario. So now rather than going from kind of bottom up to top, I'm going left to right uh, in my calculations. Alright, so 
For this, I'm going from the leftmost point, which is negative b over 2, to the rightmost point, which is b over 2. All right, and the height of the object, or dA, so dA, and that whole thing gets multiplied by x squared. All right, so dA is simply going to be equal to the height at any one point. So as I move from left to right, the height times the rate of change at which I'm moving along the x-axis. So the height is just h, h there, uh, times dx. And so it's the integral from negative b over 2 to positive b over 2. And then that whole thing gets multiplied by x squared. All right, so let's rearrange this a little bit. Uh, I have i, y, y. Um, is equal to the integral negative b over 2 to positive b over 2 times h, which is going to be a constant, it's the height of my rectangle, uh, times x squared dx. So if I evaluate that integral, I'm going from negative b over 2 to positive b over 2, um, it's going to be 1 third times h times x cubed uh, is my evaluated integral. All right, so plug in all the numbers just like I did before. Uh, so i, y, y is going to be equal to one third h times b over two cubed minus one third h times negative b over 2 cubed. All right, simplify this whole thing out, just like I did with the uh, i, x, x. Uh, and I'm going to have i, y, y is equal to 1 24th times h, b cubed plus 1 24th times h, b cubed. Add these two parts together. I, Y, Y uh, is going to be equal to 1 12th H, B cubed. And so this looks very similar to what I had up here, except I've kind of switched the two uh, pieces like that. Um, so H and B have been kind of switched, I've switched the order there. All right, so with that, I've figured out the rectangular moment of inertia, or area moment of inertia, uh, for this rectangle, this kind of generic rectangle with base B and height H about both the X and the Y axis. So thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.